there's been a devastating terrorist attack in Spain. Without warning, a coordinated series of rush hour explosions struck three train stations in Madrid. At least 173 people were killed and hundreds wounded by the bombings, which come just days before a national election. CBS News correspondent Tom Fenton reports. They were powerful bombs, precisely timed and coordinated, and there was no advance warning. Police immediately blamed the Basque separatist group ETA, but the political wing of that organization has denied it. Three trains were hit, coaches of an intercity express were blasted by what appeared to be at least three simultaneous bombs. Two other trains were hit as they pulled into suburban stations. All were packed with commuters in the midst of the rush hour. Bodies were thrown from coaches. A huge rescue operation swung into action. Station platforms were littered with casualties as the living and dead were sorted out for treatment and transport to hospitals. There's still confusion about the number of dead and injured, which is rising. This is the deadliest terrorist attack in Europe for decades, and a reminder that Islamic fundamentalism is not the only threat to public safety. ETA has killed close to 800 people in 35 years. Today's targets were not government or military officials, but ordinary people. And it was time three days before Spain's general elections, in which the fight against Basque terrorism is a major issue. The Spanish government has recently been claiming that the Basque separatists are close to defeat, and in the past few years, the number of ETA killings has fallen. But if today's tragedy is the work of ETA, that organization is far from dead. Julie? Tom Fenton. Thank you, Tom.